Hello and welcome to the recap. This is episode number 101. We're recording on a Wednesday, but I'm going to say happy Friday. We just had an incredible recap last week, uh, Maddie. I mean, that was incredible. But overall, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Rick. Uh, having a lot of conversations with our community people, members, working on a few things together, planning for the next year. So, yeah, that's pretty exciting. And uh, how about you? Well, I'm about ready to coast down through the end of the year. I, I think we haven't made a plan, but probably no recap 102 next week because I'm officially I'm officially on leave now. But um, I think we'll take a little break um, and go back at it at January. But man, wasn't that 101 so much fun or 100 so much 100. fun? 100. That was such a good one. And uh, we had so much support from the community. So many of them, they were present there just engaging. And we had a lot of great content to share as well. That, uh, that oh, was yeah. awesome. I absolutely loved it. They told me later we set an internal Veeam record for the most engagement on one of the live streams. Oh, that's amazing. So, and I don't know if you saw it, but Anand, uh, our CEO, he shared it as well on Twitter and no. he mentioned us. That's amazing. Oh, wow. right? Well, I was I was kind of out of the pocket yesterday and, uh, and, and a couple other days, but uh, I always get weird when Anand is looking at stuff. So. <laughs> Who knows? But that's good. That's it means that we are doing a good job. So We're doing something we should be right proud of it yes now i didn't get to get around to who's new but we do have a whole bunch of really good content to share are you ready to jump into it yeah let's do that all right first up is paulo with a great new addition to v12 around vmover what caught your eye about this one maddie yeah, so Paolo is one of our Vim Vanguard, um, and uh, he wrote an article about one of the really cool features coming um, in V12, the Vmover. Uh, and that is a feature that allows you to move or copy backups to different locations. So everyone is really looking forward to this one. I just saw it from uh, from all the comments if you go down there. Um, and Paolo is just basically taking uh, each use case, uh, move backups to different repository, copy backups to different repository, uh, and so on and so forth. And uh, he's using like a visual example for each of it, which I think is great. And and it's super easy to understand and pretty straightforward. So thank you, Paolo. And I love to see our Vanguards posting at the community hub. Have to say that. Yeah, indeed. <laughs> and I'll go one step further. And this makes a really big difference for organizations who like change a policy for some of the workloads. For example, a lot of people may have got into making a gold policy, a silver policy, et cetera. And there might be something inside of the gold policy that honestly doesn't warrant gold anymore. Maybe it needs to move down to silver or the reverse. Vmover or whatever we're actually going to call it, enhancements to day two operations or something like that, will actually help there as well. So this is a great new capability. It does resonate more for people who have already used Veeam. If, you know, if you're new to Veeam and talk about this, you might be a little bit of a head scratcher. But yeah, so we've got some some great feedback from some of the people about how they foresee this is going to be used. Here we got Chris, we got Mark, we got a, a few other people piping in, and yeah, it will absolutely make a difference for those who use the product. So yeah, people are looking forward to this one. J Max, Christian, and Shane as well. All right, yeah. second up is one of our Veeam MVPs, Stefan Zimmerman, with a great script around SharePoint and Teams backup jobs. This was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I don't know if you noticed, if you go very often to the script uh, section, but uh, Stefan is actually posting a lot of uh, scripts in here. Um, so thank you for that, Stefan. Um, yeah, as you said, this is just like um, a script to automate uh, like the creation of SharePoint online and Teams job. And he talks about like the main feature um, in this post, uh, the main feature of this script. And there's also like a link where you can find the script. Um, as per Stefan, there are two big customers using it already. So, you know, you can also test it. Uh, if you are a member, you are into scripts as well. 
you can just uh, test it, give it a try and uh, give Stefan some uh, feedback. It's important because then he can also see if there are more limitations. He has already like a list of limitations and uh, some things maybe that he can improve on it. Uh, he can always make it better. And I would like to also mention something like this is a Vim script, you know, so you can use it without worrying too much. But um, if you use like different other scripts from uh, from the script section and they they are not, uh, they don't belong to Vim, I would just test it uh, in a sandbox environment before using it in production. So I think this could be a good tip for everyone. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, the scripts, much like the automation desk, is a lot of, um, it's a way to get you started, right? Um, there's a, we should probably put kind of a sticky on the supportability for some of the scripts as well. But um, generally speaking, yeah, always test this stuff in production. We make it so easy to do test environments with NFRs, community edition, and the like. So um, yeah, good stuff. Thank you so much for sharing, Stefan. And number three on the actual content, you might see more tabs, we're not breaking the rule, but number three on the actual content is Marco with a good uh, important update around the Veeam backup for Google Cloud product. Yes, uh, Marco brings to our attention a 9.A CVSS V3 score vulnerability about an improper authentication in Veeam backup for Google Cloud this time. Uh, this is, I think, in version one and version three. Uh, but like, as he said, like for the most user, there is no need to take any action uh, in whatever concerns this vulnerability. But like there are some environments where like the, the Veeam backup for Google Cloud backup appliances does not actually have uh, access to the repository.veeam.com. So there is a manual fix in there. Um, so yeah, thank you, Marco, for sharing this with us. It's a good tip. Uh, it's good that we don't have to be that concerned about it. Um, and uh, Beam already looked into it. Um, and yeah, thank you, Marco. I haven't seen you in a while, actually, in the recap. Now I just realized. Yeah, and uh, indeed, thank you for sharing, Marco. That updater for the Veeam backup, same thing for AWS and Azure as well. The updater is a great way to get that up to date. And for what I would call a routine deployment, they're going to have access to the repository over the internet. Now, some people may have, you know, shaped down what the uh, cloud resources can actually get to, and those are the ones that may have to expose the repository, as as you highlighted. But also, if they blocked a lot of traffic, maybe the improper authentication can't get in either, right? So there's a lot that comes with it. But either way, great post. Thank you so much, Marco. Now let's go over into special department news and Luis has a really great one um, around the holiday stuff and giving back. Yes, Luis is our VUG Spain leader and he's very um, involved and engaged. Um, and uh, this is the first time we are actually mentioning uh, Luis in the recap. So welcome Luis to the recap. Um, and uh, yeah, this is actually you know, it's not technical related, as he says in here, but he's reminding all of us uh, that we should be grateful for everything we have, you know, and uh, maybe share with others a bit of what we have. Um, he, he mentions two associations where we can donate um, in here. Th those are in Spain, but of course, uh, if you are anywhere else in, the, in this world, I'm pretty sure there are in your country, city, community even, uh, I'm pretty sure um, there are a bunch of other associations, a lot of people in need. So let's just give a hand. Why not? Right? Indeed. And you might be looking, why is this basically duplicated? I will tell you, I, I did a little trick here, Maddie. I did a uh, live translation on the browser because he actually uh, did the first kind of top uh, bit in um, um, Spanish. In, in Spanish, and then he had it in English as well. So uh, generally speaking, it's also important to know that our user groups in, in particular can go in local language, but sometimes I'll cheat and do the translation. But uh, thank you so much for sharing that, uh, Luis. Good stuff. And um, 
you know, every time we look, Maddie, at any user, you know, a lot of times we'll see how many badges they have. And there's been some activity there. What in the oh, world yes. have you and Sophia been up to? Oh, yeah, we have to praise Sophia for that. I must say she did the, all, all the hard work in here. So thank you, Sophia, for that. Um, and I know we've been talking about badges like for the past, I don't know, five, six months, right? We've been promising new badges. We've been promising a range working on the old badges. So we finally have like new six badges. Um, so we have MVP ones, we have Vanguard ones, we have BMC and VMCA badges. Uh, and Federica is very happy about that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, just wanted to uh, to give a shout out. Like, if if you are certified VMC, BMCA, and you haven't received yet a badge, because obviously it's it's difficult for us to know everyone um, that has a certification uh, and you want this badge, let us know, and uh, we will be able to award it for you. Um, and then there are two more badges that I would like to talk about. Um, we have the Recap Hero, uh, which I'm super excited about it. Uh, I'm not even sure which one I'm more excited about, the Recap Hero or Community Superstar. Uh, but yeah, if you are mentioned more than 10 times um, in, in the Recap, it's, it doesn't have to be only like blogs or posts, but it can be a shout out that you helped in a discussion or anything that you did oh, good in I, the community. I, I, I drop a lot of names. That's going to be impossible to tabulate. <laughs> oh, man. Don't say that. Don't say that because already Safia worked on that. She watched okay. all the recaps and oh, wow. we have a good number. Can you believe that? Okay. So, yeah. You will get this badge. Yes, of course you will. Of course. And uh, we are going to start assigning it in the next few days, but just be patient with us because it's going to take a while. Yeah, and that's then, true. And we should do it even, right? We shouldn't just say Michael Paul. Yeah. And then catch up, you know, or or whoever else may be a, a recap hero, you know. Yes. I just guess maybe Wolfgang as well from from way back. But he yeah. is. We have a lot of them. We have yeah. a lot of them. So that's good. I'm happy to see that. Um, and then the community superstar, as I said, I love this one as well. Um, you have the rules there, so maybe you can read it for us, Rick. Yeah, yeah. That you're a vanguard. You're a legend and a user group leader. The trifecta yes. who continuously engages. Wow, that's that's some work, right? Because yeah. you know the the vanguard is one that manages their external identity. The legend is one that manages their identity in the Veeam properties. You know, so that's a lot of work to do it both ways, right? So that's I know, but we impressive. have some personas. Yeah, we do. So we do. that's great. And then, as you can see, there is a star in there. If you are because we have cases when people are maybe not legends or vanguard, they don't have that oh. status, but they lead two groups. So that and they yeah. engage continuously, then that can apply as well. Yeah, like the automation desk or Kubernetes exactly. corner. But what yes. do we do with somebody who leads a thematic group and a user group? Superstar plus plus? I don't know. No, no, because yeah, maybe. Like He's still a superstar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Star is a, uh, Jeff is a superstar plus. <laughs> yeah. It's, well, it's kind so, of interesting. Yeah. We we don't make the badges with individual like people in mind. We kind of make it with criteria in mind. And then you kind of fall into the people that meet the criteria. But yeah, this is our, our first wave of badge innovation that we've done, really. Um, probably since the launch of the site, if I remember right. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. But I, we are still working. Yeah. Yeah, we are still working on the old ones because we we still I feel like we still can improve a bit the rules in there and maybe yeah. after we do all that work we can actually write an article as we promised about the badges and all you know like make it a bit more transparent for people to know it when they can get that certain badge because there were questions around this topic. Yeah, so. and one thing I'll say is that right here in this column, you'll see it says manual, right? So there's some tabulation that we're doing. The platform also lets us have an automatic criteria, 
right? And yes. some of the automatic ones have never happened, right? So we need to kind of reassess the the triggers to make that happen, right? Uh, maybe that they're just not aligned, right? Or we're scoring things differently. I'm not sure, but there are some ghost badges out there that people could even earn right away if they hit this mysterious criteria, which we haven't seen yet. So. Yes, we are working on it. So awesome. we'll get more information with more information to you soon. Great work on that, Maddie and Sophia. Thank you so much for that. Um, anything else? That's about it from my side. All right. Well, this will be our, I guess, our last episode of the year. Um, I need a break, even though I, I, I had a little stomach thing upset. I didn't have a great day yesterday, but functional today. But then um, got the holidays coming up, massive snow and ice storm coming our way. Yay. So uh, going to take the rest of the year at least off of the community. But I wish you a good uh, holiday and new year, Maddie. Happy holidays to everyone. Enjoy the spirit of uh, Christmas and have a great new year. Indeed. Thanks everyone for watching. We'll see you early January with the next episode.